I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a very important test question on coordinate geometry. The question is, points A and B lie on the same line which has a slope of 2. A has coordinate 2, 3 and lies to the left of B. The segment AB is 15 units. Find coordinates of B correct to two decimal places. Now, in such questions, it is important to sketch uh, fairly accurately. That helps. Now, we are given point A is on the left of B. So, somewhere here is A and B is on the right side. A has coordinate 2, 3 and the line has a slope of 2. So, it's like kind of going up, right? So, so we can say it is kind of going up like this. Okay. So, on this line, these are my points. So, the points here are, we'll write them as A, which is 2, 3. And for this line, slope M, let me write here. M, the slope of the line is 2. And we are given a point A, which is 2, 3. We are also given that the point B, somewhere here on the right side of A, is 15 units away. We need to find coordinates of B, so we will write B as x, y. Right? So, so, we want to know what is B, where the distance A to B, that distance is 15. Right? So, let us begin by saying that what is the equation of the line? So, first step is to find equation of line. Now, in this case, since we are given slope of 2, we can write y equals to 2x plus b. Now, since a is on the line, we can substitute 2 for x, 3 for y. So, we get 3 equals to 2 times 2 plus b. And now, we can solve for b. So, it is 3 minus 4 equals to b. 3 minus 4 is minus 1. So, once you get b, we can write equation of line is y equals to 2x minus 1. Now, this is important, right? Both the points are on the line whose equation is y equals to 2x minus 1. So, that means that if I am saying point B is x, y, I can write this y as 2x minus 1. Do you see that? So, now point B is x value and instead of y, I am writing this as 2x minus 1. Does it make sense? So, I replaced this y value from here. That helps. How does that help? Now, we are given the distance between A and B as 15, right? So, that really means we can say that the distance D is the formula is, we can say distance square is x2 minus x1, right? So, basically it is x minus 2 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square is equals to distance square which is given to us as 15 so is equals to 15 square does it make sense so we have instead of writing square root i squared both sides right so we get that distance now the value of y can be replaced by 2x minus 1 as we have written here. So, I will write this as x minus 2 whole square plus instead of y, I am writing 2x minus 1. So, we get 2x minus 1 and here we already have minus 3 whole square equals to 15 square. What is 15 square? We can use the calculator and write down this as 225. We can still simplify this portion. We have x minus 2 whole square plus 2x minus 4 whole square equals to 225. Now let us expand it. x minus 2 whole square is what? Well, to expand, we have to use the formula, which is if I write a plus b whole square, 
it really means it is a square plus 2ab plus b square, right? In case we have minus here, then this is minus, which is the case here. In both these cases, we have minus, correct? Therefore, we can expand x minus 2 whole square as x square minus 2ab means 4x plus 2 square, right, which is 4. Now, in this case, you have to square 2x whole square. So, we get 4x square. Be careful. You have to square 2 also, okay? 2 times ab means 2 times 4, 8, 8 times 2, 16, 16x plus 4 square, 4 square is 16 equals to 225, right, equals to 225. Now we can bring all the terms together, simplify, x square plus 4x square is 5x square, we have minus 4x and minus 16x, which makes it minus 20x. And as far as numbers are concerned, we have 4 plus 16, which is 20. And now we'll bring it to the left side, which is minus 225 equals to 0. We can combine these two. So we get our equation as 5x squared minus 20x. That becomes minus 205 equals to 0. So this is a quadratic equation, perfect. So you can use quadratic formula and solve for x, right? So we will use quadratic formula and solve for x. Let me use the space on the left side. So we can say x is equals to quadratic formula is minus b, which is minus of minus 20. So we get 20 here plus minus b square, which means minus 20 square, minus 4 times ac, a is 5, and c is minus 2 or 5, divided by 2 times a, which is 5. So what we get here is 20 plus minus square root of 200, 20 square is 400, we can use calculator actually. 400 minus we have to multiply this so these two negatives will make it positive right 4 times 5 is 20 so we'll do 205 times 20 so we get 4100 and we have to divide by 10 okay since we are looking for a point on the right side we'll use positive correct so let me Calculate this out. So within the square root, we have 400 plus 4100. And then we'll square root this, our answer. To this answer, we'll add 20. So we'll add 20 plus, we have 67.082 divided by 10, right? So we'll add this to 20 and then divide by 10 to get decimal value of 8.708. Now, we need to find answer correct to two decimal places. That means we'll round this, right? So this will be equal to 8.71. So that is the x value. Once you get x value, you can calculate y value as 2 times x value, which is 8.71 minus 1, minus 1. Okay. So let's do it. So we'll do 8.71 times 2 and we'll then take away 1 from it to write 16.42. Do you see that? So that is how we are going to get the y value. So coordinates of point B are, we can write down our answer, are 8.71 the x value and y value is 16.42. Is that clear? All right. So I'd like you to have a good look at it. It's a very important question. If you have any questions, feel free to write your comments, share your views, and you can always like and subscribe my videos. Thanks for watching and all the best.